Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of my home gym. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas that turn into videos just like this. All right. You don't get to see my ugly face in this gym, which or in this video, which is a huge bonus. I just spent uh, a week and a half at night um, reworking my home gym to bring in some additional equipment. I'm going to go over with you what I have, what I like, what I don't like, what a, what's a waste of time and money, etc. Now, I'm going to start with this. Excuse the mess because we're still moving stuff around. This is a station where I do my massive iron lives for you, those of you that tune in. And uh, I just redid this a while ago, painted it and redid the flooring. Now, the first thing you'll see is that I am moving my office from here to upstairs to add extra room in my gym, uh, to add extra space. What I did is take my office and put our ellipticals in here. We do a lot of elliptical work uh, when it's cold out instead of running. So the ellipticals are right in here, and I put a TV in there to keep my dumb brain uh, entertained. But this is basically the elliptical room. I got two more rooms in the gym and we're going to walk in there and I'm going to show you guys what I have in there and we're going to go over all the equipment. Now, I'm going to turn around here and try not going to try not to give everybody motion sickness. But that's a little peek behind the scenes where I was doing my massive iron live. Now, behind me, this room has a little bit a little bit of a heater, right? You can see down there, but that thing doesn't heat anything so this is the main room to my gym this was once a recording studio before i bought the building so there's some issues with it some of the flooring isn't done but let's take a look now i'm gonna get into the squat rack in just a moment but this is some of the new equipment i bought i have a lat pull down seated cable row station right here this thing's a beast i absolutely love it uh, this one is from TDS. Most of my equipment in here is now from Titan. I used to buy TDS, but I've started to support Titan because I feel like the quality for the price is overall pretty decent. Some of their equipment, you still might, you know, some of their equipment isn't perfect, but for the price, it's pretty good. But this TDS a lat pull down I got off Amazon absolutely love it. it was fairly reasonable to assemble we never have an issue with it i get good use out of it no issues at all so right here i have a new addition this is a seated row uh, we really like this station you can see there's three pieces of equipment over here we're kind of cramped i got a t-bar station a seated row and a lat pull down. So this is kind of my back central. You know, once I get done with my deadlifts and all the uh, dumbbell rows or barbell rows, the seated cable row state or the seated row station uh, or chest supported row, whatever you want to call it. I got that from Titan. Uh, that was pretty average to uh, put together. Um, it's sturdy. It feels nice and quality for the price. So I, I can't complain with that. Behind it, you will see a T-bar station. I wanted some options because I enjoy the T-bar. And this thing is almost uh, almost commercial gym quality. It's really well built. It was kind of a beast to put together, but it's a really solid station. One of the more solid pieces of equipment I got from Titan Fitness. And if you like um, T-bar rows, I can't. I can't speak enough about this station. So both of these two pieces of a back equipment are really, really quality. I'm really happy with what I have to work my back in my home gym. Now, this is kind of a uh, something a little bit different. I just I got kind of bored over the years with just doing dumbbell and and barbell chest work, and I honestly cable crossovers and pec deck bore the living crap out of me they're not that they're not bad exercises i just don't like them but i got uh, my old gym the power station had something similar to this and uh, i got this station it is a plate loaded chest press i used it last night 
I did five sets of 10 and I, uh, it really, it, uh, I, I like it. It's a, uh, it's a rock solid piece of equipment. Um, you'll get a lot of good value out of it. The only downside to this piece of equipment is this bench. It wobbles a little bit, which annoys the heck out of me. Nothing major. Uh, nothing extreme, but you can see it just wobbles a little bit. And that's an engineering design, engineering flaw. It won't prevent you from getting a good workout. It's not going to, it's not going to, uh, it, it doesn't make the piece of equipment any less durable. It's still, you know, reasonably durable or a quality piece of equipment. But I just wish. It wouldn't wobble like that. It doesn't wobble when you're pressing, but you can you could notice it when you're put when you're putting it together. Now, we got kind of a clusterfuck here uh, because I'm still moving things around. You can see I have my longer dumbbell handles. So I got a lot of spin locks here. I have my longer dumbbell handles. I believe these are 18 or 20 inches. I use this for rows, and then I got uh, four sets of regular spin locks and those we use for you know whatever chest presses or flies or whatever my wife works out in here so I like to have a few sets of spin locks just so we're not fighting over them you can see a landmine station that's going unused I don't have my squat rack bolted down so that's virtually useless I'm a, so I just kind of pack it over here I got a couple of v-bar handles and you can see I got the Viking press attachment, which I never use. Um, honestly, if you're going to get a landmine station, you kind of need something to prop up the uh, the weight on. If not, you're just it's just going to become useless for you. And uh, you know, buying this uh, buying this landmine attachment, I just don't have any place to use it. I when I'm doing landmine exercises. I don't have any place to prop up the barbell to get under it, and it really just annoys the heck out of me. I find the, the landmine exercises to be the most tedious in the home gym. So just my opinion. Back here hiding, I have a bowed bar or buffalo bar for squatting. I got this from Titan Fitness. For the cost, this thing is a beast. So for you guys that have shoulder issues, need a little bit, uh, want to relieve some shoulder pressure on your squats, this thing over at Titan Fitness is a huge value for the cost. Now, let me see what else we can find here. This is a sissy squat station, and I'm a big fan of this. Um, for under 150 bucks, you can get in some quality quad work. And if you compare this to like hack squats or vertical or uh, um, uh, hack squats or leg presses or leverage squats, this is a great value for the cost. You can hold a plate to increase the uh, resistance. You could even hold a dumbbell. Uh, you could put on a backpack or a vest or whatever. You can increase the resistance. You really get a good quad feel. I can't speak enough about how much I like the Sissy Squat Station. Over here from Titan, I got this little box. 12, 14, and 16 inches. Just something to do some um, various box squats if I ever want to do that. Now, I have this steel body bench, this steel body adjustable bench. I believe I got that on Amazon. If you have a home gym... You really need to consider having an adjustable bench. So many people in home gyms like to do overhead presses, military presses, but it's a it's kind of a lost art doing seated dumbbell overhead presses and stand or seated uh, barbell presses. And I'm a big fan of those. And you want to just uh, have an adjustable bench around to keep that as an option. Most ceilings in home gyms aren't always optimal as well. Uh, you can find an adjustable bench over on Titan Fitness for, I believe, 150 or under, which is a really good value. Now, my squat rack I got at Titan, and uh, I have no issues with it at all. I believe it was under 400 bucks. Real good quality, easy to put together. 
Um, you can do pull-ups, obviously, right here. It's got the knurling to do pull-ups. And I got the dip handle attachments right there on both sides. And those are the useless bands that I never use. And you can see in my home gym, I have uh, some posters, the muscular chair system, barbell workouts, my little whiteboard, and uh, dumbbell workouts. I got the old massive iron clock. And I got some pictures of my ugly uh, self to remind me not to be a piece of shit. So let me, uh, this is it for, whoops, almost it for room number two. We got some more stuff. I got this one in and put together yesterday. This is the assisted uh, dip or the tricep press down. And I tried it with 90 pounds. You can see there's 45s on there. Really like this a lot. Tried it yesterday, did five sets. Really good feel, nice and smooth, a pretty, pretty decent value. Hiding back here, you can see, uh, I forget the name of this bar. I really do, so excuse me. But I got this pretty cheap off Titan. And uh, it's, a, it's a good way to squat for those of you guys with shoulder issues. You can grab low. You don't have to get into front squats and all that kind of good stuff. So I forget the name of the bar. I for, you know, forgive me. There's so many different types of bars and names of bars. But check this out at Titan. For what you get, the value is, and quality is there. And I believe this thing weighs like 75 pounds. Now, on the door... You can see I got a little TRX station. Sometimes we do TRX squats, um, push-ups, rows, that sort of thing. You never know if you're going to want to do a burnout set. So let's go into the last room of the gym. This is a garage area, so it's unfinished. And it's old. This is a very old building, so it needs some work. So don't hate on it. I had to take out this stair railing. You can see there's a big gap. I had to cut that out um, with my saw to get the ellipticals out of here. I had the ellipticals in here, and I had to move them out and move them in here to open up some more space. So by moving my ellipticals, I was able to create a space for more equipment. Now, it's absolutely freezing back here, and it's a hot mess. But you can see... I got a new leg press, leg curl station. Um, that's to replace this one from TDS, which I find to be a piece of crap. Uh, I really do. This is the worst thing I've spent my money on in, uh, in my home gym. It's way too high uh, for the average individual. You have to kind of step up to get on it. The far handles to hold yourself while doing leg curls, I can barely reach them. So they're basically useless. When you're doing leg extensions, uh, there's just a lot of awkward pressure on the back of the knee. It's just a clunky, clunky leg extension, leg curl station. I don't really enjoy it. It wobbles a lot. And um, no matter how I adjust it, the wobble is still there. It's just just annoying, just annoying. And I got this thing pretty much cinched down. There's no way to get rid of this wobble. Uh, so I replaced it, and I'm going to be getting rid of that on uh, Craigslist or Facebook group here soon. So to go with that, I decided to add a leverage squat. That thing was a beast to put together. A literal beast. It took like two hours just to unbox. And I'm going to tell you, it's quality, but the main issue is it's short. I'm 5'10", and if I walk over to it, you kind of get an, an idea for it. I'm standing looking straight ahead, and I'm 5'10". This is eye level. And it is this pad right here is probably at my nipple level. So to get under that sucker, I have to really duck down to get things started. So it's manageable. I can do so. But it's more of an annoyance than anything. Another feature about the leverage squat I wish was different is the pad, the plate 
isn't wide enough. Yes, you can do squats on there. Yes, you'll be fine. But yes, you'll wish this plate was a little bit more wide. Looking back, while this lever squat is a good piece of equipment, I would probably have gotten the hack squat from Titan Fitness instead just because this thing is, it needs a next generation. It needs a next gen version. So let me step back on the stairs here. All right, so if you look down there, that is my deadlift bar uh, resting on the dog bed. And over here, you got my deadlift jacks. Those, And I'm going to rearrange things. I got to do some cleaning in here because I just finished putting together equipment. But the um, deadlift jacks. These are a way, they're, they're on Titan Fitness, real low cost, like 80 bucks, and they allow you to do adjustable rack pulls without destroying your rack. You can put those right on the end of your barbell or your trap bar and pull off the ground, and uh, real easy to load plates on as well. Sorry, I got interrupted by a phone call. I can't speak highly enough of those deadlift uh, jacks. Um, behind there is a hex bar I believe I got off Walmart for about 120 bucks, real good value. And um, here's where I bench. Nothing fancy, just a flat ass plain bench I got off uh, Amazon. I think it was an Amazon Essentials bench for like 120 bucks, and I got squat stands which I bench off of. And a real simple station. Now if I don't want to bench there. I can bench in the rack depending on, you know, what my wife is doing that day. So I like having a couple of stations, and I can do military presses down here as well. I like having a couple of stations uh, to be able to bench. This isn't the safest way to bench, but I'm not really benching above 225 for 20 right now, so it's not super critical. So that's about it, guys. I got pretty much everything you need. Uh, when it comes to legs, I can do squats. I can do the uh, sissy squats. I can do leg curls, leg extensions. I can do leverage squats. I got a back extension coming so I can do glute ham raises. That's going to be the last piece of equipment. So legs, I get a good workout in. Um, back, I got everything set up for a good back workout. I can do uh, seated cable rows, lat pull downs, chest supporter rows, T-bars, dumbbells, barbell rows. I got some good action. Uh, going on for chest and i'm pretty happy with what i got so if you guys have any uh any questions or comments about any of this equipment uh hit me up in the comments section or message me on instagram at ben the barman at ben the barman so guys hope this video has been of some help if you have any questions or comments drop them down below if you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel please do i'd appreciate the support so guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.